Welcome back to the channel Crypto Tro. Back with another video, man. And today we're talking about DeFi Kinos and how they continue to release new upgrades each and every time they put out an AMA. They follow their AMAs, man. And that's right. Today we can officially say we have level 10 profession quests, man. That's something that's been in the making for a little minute, but we finally can see how the team has put in their work and we now are getting level 10 profession quests and not only that we now are able to bond our pets with heroes and a lot of people was talking about how DeFi candles forgot about the pets how the pets don't have utility it was just something a money grab but now we can see how these pets now have utility and they can actually be bundled with heroes to make you even more profitable in this game man so a lot of things going on with DeFi candles a lot of new surprises a lot of new upgrades and we're going to talk about that and we're also going to talk about how i feel about DeFi candles the price and much much more but before we get into that make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you can get every video i make directly to your phone laptop computer desktop whatever the case may be do that right now especially if you like DeFi kingdom content and also check out my DeFi Kingdoms playlist. Check that out. It has a lot of information on DeFi Kingdoms, a lot of bullish information, a lot of alpha information, just information, man. So check out my DeFi Kingdoms playlist. And before we get too deep into it, I got to let you know I am not a financial advisor whatsoever. This is just me talking about the crypto projects I invest in, especially DeFi Kingdoms, because I'm excited in the projects that I invest in. So before going too deep into the space, I always consult with somebody because we know you can earn a lot of money, but you can also lose a ton of money as well. So have conviction in the projects you invest in and also never invest anything that will won't allow you to sleep at night so you want to get a good nice risk you don't want to be tossing and turning and worry about a crypto investment you want to just let this be play money man let this be money you play with and you know maybe you decide to uh skip over going out to eat that night invest that twenty dollars in some crypto and you won't even realize you lost it because you probably would have used that money for some bs anyway why not use it for investment and that's not financial advice that's just me uh telling you what i do it personally so enough of that enough of that spiel let's get straight into it we're talking about d5 kingdoms baby let's go let's talk about it so right now i am on coin market cap and we can see d5 kingdoms is at 13 cents down two percent on a day and a lot of people asking why does d5 kingdoms continue to go down even after this bullish information even after all these updates they put up you got to understand everything is down in the crypto space except for those crazy meme coins everybody investing in and that's like a casino because a lot of those coins don't have true utility people just want to make profit and i can understand that but that's one of the easiest ways to get wrecked in the crypto space especially if you didn't get in the project early you're going to be exit liquidity my guy there's just a part of the crypto space especially with these tokens without utility and if you just compare it to you know a lot of blockchains a lot of other projects a lot of doubt it's doing the same things that a lot of doubts now they did experience some rises at the beginning of the year and d5 kingdoms kind of just stayed stagnant almost like a stable coin but we got to understand man we are still in a bear market and DeFi Kino continues to build throughout the bear market. And those are the projects you want to kind of pay attention to, especially the projects that put AMAs out every single week. Name me one project in a bear market that puts AMAs out every single week. And if you don't know what an AMA is, it's ask me anything. And they pretty much... And you can ask questions to the team and they will answer them to the best of their ability and they give us updates on everything that they're trying to or they're working on and trying to put out so very bullish in my personal opinion so we go to look at market cap we can see market cap is at 9.9 .9 million dollars so still under 100 and i think in the bull market we can easily hit a hundred dollar not a hundred dollar but a hundred million dollar market cap easily man 100 million is easy especially we did it in a bull market when the game wasn't even fully out yet we got so many things that's new to the game 
and that a lot of people haven't experienced it. A lot of people who left and went to other projects, they don't even know what's going on and how the team is still building. And we can see the volumes at 74,000, uh, circulating supplies at 72 million joules, so 57% circulating. But a lot of that jewel is locked up as well. And we're going to talk about that. So we can see, like I said, we do now have level 10 profession quests. Now, we don't have level 10 profession quests for mining just yet. They said that's coming out very, very soon. But we got gardening uh, level 10, fishing level 10, and foraging level 10. So you can go there and start those level 10 quests. And me personally, I believe I've been getting more items from the level 10, especially in gardening. I've seen in gardening that uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the same thing, but I've seen somebody on Twitter say uh, how you get a lot of experience from the gardening level 10 quest and i actually did and i did get a lot of xp just from those type of quests the level 10 gardening quest i think one quest i actually hit like 350 xp so i think that's one of the uh gems also if you want to level up very fast as a gardener man go to get your skill to level 10 get up to 10 so you can start getting that crazy xp and that i don't know if that if that's a if it, that's a bug or if they did it on purpose but i know right now you get a lot of xp just from that level 10 gardening quest so very bullish on that and like i said with fishing i've been getting more items and then just think about once you actually bond your heroes uh, or your pets with the heroes we're gonna see a lot of more plants dropping uh, a lot of more items dropping and just a lot of bullish things coming down a pipeline for DeFi Kingdom. So, like I said, now you are able to bond your pets with the heroes, man. It's something we've been waiting for. A lot of people always was talking about the pets, but now we actually have a true utility for these pets. Now, you do have to feed the pets, and that just comes from, you know, questing and getting your items up to make pet treats. But like I said, I believe in the long run, these pets are going to be valuable especially in combat man so we still have yet to see what the pets will offer in combat but right now they are only for the questing which is also major because it just gives you more things and utilities for the pets and also make you more profitable in the long run in my personal opinion now something that caught my eye shout out to how the gang um he basically stated how 100k jewel was staked in the jeweler today so a lot of people are still locking up their jewel even in this bear market now people we they say like d5 kings is going down but the true players see the value in it see why you should lock up jewel so you can get these power ups to really make your heroes more profitable in the end is different power ups to help your heroes uh, level up faster recharge your stamina faster and much much more man and they say a lot of more power ups will be on the way so stay tuned and you can try to see like how you can make yourself more profitable in this game by using these power ups but there's just only one thing about the jeweler so we can see 30k jewel burn just last week and just think about it, I like to say this, 30K jewel burned last week. And that's in a bear market. You got to understand, this is in a bear market. So think about, you know, in a full-on bull market. I know we can at least do 100K jewel burned in a week. And I know you're saying, like, that sounds crazy. Like, how are they going to burn 100K in a week? But I'm telling you, those transactions are going to go up in the bull market. And we're going to see more jewel being burned each and every week. And then we can see burning 3,000 jewel daily. So 3,000 jewel daily, that can easily be doubled to 6,000 plus, man. 6,000 plus is easy in a bull market because a lot of transactions are going to happen. And the people, I know people may be watching this saying, Tro, you sound crazy. But I'm just letting you know my opinion on this. I think that can easily be doubled in a bull market because more players are going to come in. More people are going to want to play the game. More people are going to want to quest. And we know what happens when you quest. We do a transaction. And with every transaction, that's right, a small piece of jewel is burnt. So we can see 72 million circulating supply. The rest is state. So a lot of people locking up their jewel. And that's why jewel has really been acting like a stable coin in this bear market. Because a lot of people, don't get me wrong, people are selling. But the people who have been sticking by the project are locking their jewel up. So you can't sell that jewel unless you actually want to get an early withdrawal, which will cause you to burn 50% of that 
jewel that you stake. So this also another mechanism they have in place for burning a lot of jewel, man. I'm telling you, this is going to be big, especially in the bull market. Now, I keep referring to the bull market because the bull market is where we're going to actually see those gains, see those prizes rising. rising. But right now, it, it's the bear market, so you really can't really just do too much. I, I just tell people continue to play the game, continue to level up heroes, continue to go on quests because – the people who stop are going to wish they kept going in the bull market, man. People are going to, when the bull market come back around, they're going to be like, damn, I wish I would have kept my jewel. Or, damn, I wish I would have kept all the heroes I had. I had 1,000 heroes, but I sold them off for the floor price, which is right now is $2. You see what I'm saying? So, like, think about it. I think in the future, in the bull market, I think we will see where floor price rises to at least $10. And just think about where you were or where you are right now. You know, if you have a level five hero, by the time bull market comes around, your level five hero might be a level 15 or might be a level 10 or 12 or whatever the case may be. But those heroes with higher levels are more profitable than the lower level heroes. So you can't even just look at the floor price. You got to just think about helping your heroes appreciate, uh, making them get to this level 10 profession quest, but not only that, but leveling them up to where they are more valuable than a floor price hero. So real yield uses fees to buy jewel and that's APR at 6%. So right now you can earn 6% just by locking up your jewel in the jeweler. And I know you like 6% ain't nothing in, in crypto. We we are diggings. We've seen 100%. We've seen thousands percent. we maybe even seen 100,000% at one time. But I believe this is bullish just because not only do you get power-ups from locking your jewel, but you earn more jewel by staking your jewel in a jeweler. And 6%, if you continue to compound it and buy more jewel and stake it in a jeweler, you know, that 6% is going to look very, very good if we go back to all-time highs. And a lot of people just looking at it uh, from right now from the standpoint from the bear market, but just look ahead in the future and see if jewel, see if you believe if jewel can hit all-time highs again. And I believe that's easy. I believe $22 in a bull market for jewel is easy, man, especially with the deflationary, especially with, you know, all of these updates getting put out. It's very, very easy to hit, in my personal opinion. Now, I believe sentiment for Jewel has been coming around, um, back around, and a lot of people are getting excited. But, of course, we got some naysayers. You know, people going to talk bad about Jewel and say, like, why are you still in Jewel? What are you doing still buying Jewel, man? In my personal opinion, I say, hey, let them talk, man. I think every type of conversation is good, especially if they are tagging Jewel. If they're putting a dollar sign, Jewel, I'm telling you, uh, of course, people are going to get laughs and they want to, you know, clown the people who still in DeFi Kinos. And I feel them. You know, I, I can't I, I want I laugh at some of these tweets, too. Like, I'd be like, that's funny. But at the end of the day, some of them are silently still investing or if they not, they want to FOMO back in because they see everything that's going on with DeFi Kinos. And if they don't want to FOMO back in, you're going to see them talk about Jewel in a good way when a bull market comes back around. Now, it'd be different when it's talking about a project that just literally rugged or just went out the scene, no updates or nothing. But Jewel continues to build. So I don't see how people can even say something about Jewel in a negative way. Not don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the the team hasn't made mistakes or, you know, it's not negative things about project about the project because any project has some negativity in it. You know, any project, uh, no project is perfect. No project will, you know, do everything right. But me personally, I love what DeFi Kenos is doing. And I'm just going to let these people talk, man. People are going to say what they want to say. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you, when DeFi Kingdom actually gets back to the bull market, it's going to be something crazy, man. And like like I said, the they, Cujo even said, the rise of anti-Jewel tweets is nothing but good news to my ears. Haters are going to hate. I recommend not interacting with them, though. They're just forming your engagement and hoping you correct them. So, very, that's what I think, too. That's what I think, uh, Cujo. I think the same thing. And I just summoned this crazy monk right there. I just summoned that uh, not too long ago. But I said the same thing, man. I see all the hate for Jewel and DeFi Kingdoms. Most are just doing it for engagement and have no idea what the team is doing. Too many bullish factors with the project. The team is still building 
as well. Can't wait to see the looks on their faces when the bull market comes back. And the bull market will come back, and DeFi Kingdoms will still be around when it comes back. And I'm telling you, people are going to be like, ah, oh, yeah, the same people who was tweeting it, they're going to probably delete their tweets or come back and say, well, I was invested in it the whole time. And I was just making, you know, trying to make it out loud. But uh, look, I'm telling you, DeFi Kingdoms in the bull market is going to go crazy. And that's not financial advice. That's just my personal take on what's going on. So that's my video for today. Just wanted to give you an update on DeFi Kingdoms and all of the surprises that they continue to come out with and bless the players with, man. Just giving us these updates on everything that's going on. So check out my DeFi Kingdoms playlist. Like I said, I got a lot of alpha information, a lot of bullish information, a lot of information you may not know but need to know. So check out their playlist. And also, if you want to get in contact with me, go to the description, click the link for Twitter, Crypto Cho. That's my video for today. Shout out to all the real ones. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. Crypto Tro, I'm out of here.